Hey guys, what's going on? Man, it's been a while since I've uh, been able to do a video, a couple days at least. Hey, I wanted to check in with y'all, let you know what was going on, and talk about a few things. Uh, obviously, Justin, everybody's asking what's going on with the Mulch Queen. He has a part-time job, so he will only be working with me if we do snow. Uh, I'm going to be cleaning the garage out in the next couple days. I'll definitely get some footage of that for you guys. But, uh, hey, it's beautiful out here. It's about 42 degrees. Uh, it snowed all night last night. I did get a part-time job for the winter. I did not need one, but I wanted to take one because it's extra income to boost for the coming year. So why not? I mean... Why not keep the money we saved, go ahead and get a part-time job, and uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I've only worked one day, but uh, there's a lot of work to do, and uh, I'm basically working in a warehouse, uh, kind of gentleman hired me to basically clean up, reorganize, um, so for about the first week, I'm just going to be learning all their systems, their part numbers, things like that, where everything goes, where everything's located. And, uh, you know, the first day, kind of mundane, went slow. Uh, not much to do other than just learn a little bit. But the reason I'm making the video is, and this is here in Ohio, I don't know about where you're at or where you're from. This is the time when you want to make the moves to get your business set up for next season. Right now, all of our commercial uh, companies are taking bids. They take them all the way through January 15th, usually here in Columbus. That's all your apartment complexes, all your companies, and that's another thing. And I had already told you guys, and I hope you remembered, but maybe not. The place I'm working at is also going to be giving me their business for next year. So that's an added plus. Uh, plus, obviously, I get a customer discount or an employee discount for my tools, which I already had anyway <clears throat> because they work with me very well. And I take care of the uh, manager's home. So, But I want you guys to think about really... What are you doing to prepare yourselves for next season? That is the main thing you want to be doing in the winter time or in your off season or your downtime. What will you be doing for next year? How are you making it better? How are you trying to get new clients? Uh, I've said this before and I believe in it a hundred percent. You do not have to go the EDDM route. In fact, I think that's a little impersonal. I'm telling you, flyers are the way to go. People say, yeah, but people get their flyers, they throw them out. Well, you think EDDM cards don't go in the trash? Come on. First thing I do with them is rip them in half, drop them in my trash. So, you know, what services are you going to offer? That's the other thing you want to think about. Is there something that you have been wanting to do that you haven't done? If so, now is the time to do the research. Find out how much the equipment costs. Find out how much it costs to run the equipment. How much would it cost you to insure the equipment? Guys, insurance is the major thing. We just had a guy in the industry, someone pulled up, and stole everything he had. Uh, you, you have got to get insured. Okay, homeowner's insurance will not take care of it. So, you know, what, what are you doing? What's your steps? Are you going to be doing aeration? Are you going to be adding mulching to your company? Are you going to be adding bed edging? Do you do hedge trimming? Do you weed? Weeding beds is very lucrative, and you can get it set up to where it's in your weekly maintenance. Um, do you do the maintenance 
on people's property or do you just cut their grass and somebody else does their hedges and mulch and maintenance and things like that those are all things you have to think about the off season I'm telling you YouTube is a fantastic place to go and find out about a lot of these different issues like how much is it to insure this or insure that how much does it cost how much can you make off aeration? Now look, there's a lot of guys who will not talk about pricing on their videos. If you have questions about pricing, please leave a comment. I will somehow talk to you privately and we will go over pricing. But uh, it's this is the time, guys. If you are at your peak season right now, then obviously you're not worried about it. If you are at your off season right now, like I am, now's the time. So within the next 30 days, I will be contacting several of my customers and saying, hey, would you like to be on a payment plan? The payment plan that I heard Nick at SG Ninjas talk about, after I sat down and I went through it and went through the numbers, if I get 10 customers to go with the payment plan, I do not have to worry about working or saving all year for the winter time. I will be set. So guys, think about it. It's These are all things we have to really concentrate on, think about, and give a lot of thought to. Hope you guys have an absolute great Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy New Year to everyone. We'll see you again soon. I will probably make a video Thursday but uh, I am going to ask tomorrow if I can make a video of me working inside the shop there. Um, there may be some stuff they don't want people to see, and I can understand that. But, guys, now is the time. Don't wait two more months. It will be too late. So, hope you all have a great day. I hope you've been doing well. Thanks for watching. One more thing I wanted to talk about that I forgot about is what my wife does in the wintertime. A lot of people have asked me, what does she do in the winter? Do people come to the house? She does a mobile massage business. That's where we're at right now. I just drove her out here to Canal Winchester, which is about 20 minutes from where we live. Um, it's very good in the wintertime because... Older people cannot get out, and uh, it just reminded me of all you lawn care guys. Are you doing things for folks? Are you utilizing what you know for folks? I mean, painting, if you know how to paint, if you know how to organize garages, if you know how to um, obviously shovel snow on the sidewalks and driveways, that's something you can do offer for your customers salting there are so many things that we can offer outside of the realm of lawn care so really put some good thought into it i'm very proud of my wife she has built quite a nice little business in three years and it's hard as a blind individual like she is to be able to market and things like that so a lot of hers is word of mouth but guys if you have the ability and you have the vehicle and and most of us do if we're in lawn care offer other services for the winter time and as you're doing those other services start thinking about like i just said hey I want to start doing hedges. I want to start planting. I want to start creating landscapes. Get into anything you can that can make you money, but also is not going to stretch you to the point that you lose customers. And I've heard it said before, and it's so true. Don't promise what you cannot deliver. It's not worth it, guys. You will lose in the end. And we don't need that. That's not what we're trying to do. So, man, I'm very proud of my wife. 
she is doing a great job and uh, she continues to get these mobile massages and I'll take her on my days off and that's about it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Let's have a great 2020. Let's make a lot of money because that's why we're in business. Let's help a lot of people. We're going to continue to do, and I stress this, every month a new fundraiser. So, hope you enjoyed, guys. And as always, as always, Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real, and I'll see you either tomorrow or Thursday. Peace. I'm out of here.